Hi guys, so today I'll be explaining uh, the advantages and limitations of criterion reference measurements or tests. Uh, so one of the advantages is that uh, criterion reference uh, measurements are often linked to meaningful uh, criterion. So that could be like um, there's certain steps and reasons that this criteria is to be met, such as like uh, the firefighter example, like um, obviously there's more males and they have to be able to carry like a heavy body you know to get someone out of a fire so that's one of like the meaningful areas of criterion um they don't depend on characteristics of the sample measured so that means that like um like the the sample measurements aren't exactly to be uh i guess you could say dependent on when like categorizing these uh crts um and they're also measured against other uh criteria and that individual so that means that like um it's not based on from person to person or we're not trying to be like a certain individual but rather like they're linked to um like a measurement or like a category to be like chosen if that makes sense and they could also be used as a guide to improve uh strategy so let's say uh it gives you like a goal that you want to meet so let's say it's like oh i have to be able to lift this much weight so uh you know where you need to be and stand in terms of like improve on in your strength let's say for like obviously like a firefighter for that going back to that example so they would they know where exactly they have to be at in a certain area so in terms of limitations for crts or criterion reference tests or measurements uh so these categories are always subjective uh to judgment so maybe like someone will be like oh like not everybody weighs that much like i don't have to carry that much weight you know like that's where it becomes subjective and it comes kind of cloudy in terms of like when deciding where the categories or cutoffs are to be met in terms of CRTs. And then this misclassification can have like serious consequences. So let's say like, uh, let's say the standard weight was to be like 150, right? Like you have to be able to carry a 150 person. But like, let's say uh, most, like let's say most men are like around like 180, like to almost close to 200. And then now that person's not able to carry a 200 pound person as opposed to like what the test said, which was 150, you know? So that's where it could be like, you know, serious consequential in terms of like a real life situation. Um, and the risk of limiting improvement or discouraging some individuals and maybe like some people are like, oh, I'll never meet that goal of being able to carry a 150 person. Or let's say if it was 200, like being able to carry a 200 person. So that's where it may discourage people and they would feel like, oh, Maybe the same cut out for me, but you know, maybe they meet other requirements. They just don't meet that one.